you and take it away. I just wanted to say quickly, uh, Mr. Hanks, I'm going to be doing the universal generics, so they won't see me on camera. This is going out to all of the people that couldn't be here at this junket. So Got thank it. you guys for doing this. Happy to do it. Hi, I'm Chi Lan Liu, and I'm doing the universal generics. Oh, and if you could also wrap my question into your answer, that'd be so fun. I get it, yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Okay, let's just get right into it. Tell me what themes from the film just really resonated with you as an actor as well as moviegoer. The themes that come from uh, both um, <clears throat> Paulette Giles' book and the screenplay that uh, <clears throat> that Paul Greengrass wrote was one about connection. Uh, that uh, that Camp and Kid realizes that I think his his primary duty is to bring people together in a common room for a common purpose. And that is to hear the news of the world, uh, to be informed about their community and, uh, and uh, literally the globe. Um, that when, he, by collecting these articles from newspapers from around the world, he's able to put forth a human condition story that, that, ha that sh shows his audience that they have a lot more in common in both wonder and purpose than they may think. That their community is affected by disease and building of the railroads, but their world is affected by the wonders of uh, what's happening in Europe, wars that are being fought uh, uh, thousands and thousands of miles away, as well as the fact that there's now a professional baseball club in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, that uh, he put on a show without a doubt, and a show always brings people together, and a show always uh, you know enthralls people. But because he was also making a great show about the news, about the facts, about the about journalism, he was also uh, enlightening a crowd. Whether or not they thought the news was good or bad, what was good was, what was, what was positive about the experience was that they were informed. And that's, that's, that's a theme I, don't th I think that is a part of uh, the human condition. We all wanna hear about the story of the hunt at the campfire uh, <clears throat> in the cave at the end of the day. Speaking of the human condition, I feel as if this film is really depicting the consequences of war, but it also shows that the news of the world is really good. It has this optimistic spirit. Can you speak to that? The, when, you, when one finds out, when one is told uh, empirically that change is afoot and it's beneficial to who we are, um, that, is, that, that brings about a degree of hope. Um, that brings uh, that 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 brings about kind of like the wonder that it is of uh, of uh, to be a, to be alive, um, and that that uh, that comes from that comes from the the, the most basic acts of of communication. All of us, I think, respond to um, number one, a story well told, uh, but also number two. Here's what I did. Here's what I saw. Here's what I learned. There's a great, great way to begin a conversation with anybody uh, under any circumstances. And that was, I saw the most amazing thing, or I heard the most incredible fact. And that when you share that, it ends up, it ends up you, you, you can be suddenly bound to a stranger or be even uh, brought even more close, uh, close to a loved one. And that, that, not everybody can do that well. But everybody, I, not everybody can be the storyteller in a way, but I think everybody wants to be drawn into a conversation. Everybody wants to, be, to belong to something bigger than themselves. And even if that organization is only the audience in a barn or in a theater or, or in a bar uh, in, order to, in order to hear somebody report uh, to tell of the world that beyond their own city limits, um, that, that's empowering. That means you go out into the night afterwards thinking, I'm really glad I came by and I spent my dime and heard the news of the world. And tell me about working with Helena because you guys have incredible chemistry and you guys just make a great duo. Our movie could not exist without Helena Zengel. There's no way of putting it in any other way. You can't make this movie without that role being cast. And just by saying that, I think kind of like cheapens or doesn't does it, does it give... Um, Elena, her proper. She's not just she's not just a, a young actress. She's not just not a, a child actor. I I can't describe uh, doing this movie with her as our working together because really all we were were we just were together. Um, we started you know at the beginning of the day we were began a process of you know we were we were connected at the hip uh, you know sometimes I'm literally dragging her around by the by the scruff of her neck. 
And I think actually we just experienced, um, you know, a give and take with each other all day long. That was about every conversation under the sun, every subject under the sun. <clears throat> and we would have to pause every now and again to, to deliver our lines and make the movie. But this film was never about hitting marks. This was never about the specificness of a dialogue. It was about the feeling of a moment that we ended up sharing. Sometimes it was when we were, you know, on a horse together. Sometimes it was, uh, excuse me, um, am I still there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Am I on? Okay. Um, sometimes it was um, uh, us sitting around a campfire. Sometimes it was us, uh, her sleeping and me being awake. But it, it was not like performance. It was more like inhabiting who we were at any, give, at any given moment. I can't, look, I... I I'm 64 and I've been doing this for a while. And I still like to learn things from the people I've worked with, but I'm looking at this 11, 12 year old, you know, bilingual uh, 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 co-star of mine. And I was thinking, gosh, I, I wish I could be as unaffected as she is. I wish I could be as natural and, uh, and as simple as, as she is because she was, and we just were. Thank you so much, Mr. Hanks. I am so honored to have spoken with you. Have a great day. Oh, you're... Oh. Sure. Hey, Paul. Hi. I just wanted to let you know, I'm doing the Universal Generics, so they won't see me. This is going out to all of the media who couldn't be here with you, sadly. Okay. So if you could just start my question and your answer, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Hi, I'm Chilan Lee with Universal Generics. So, Mr. Greengrass, let's just get right into it. What inspired you to adapt this story into a screenplay? Well, I mean, the inspiration for this film for me was the book, uh, Paulette Giles' novel, News of the World, which is a wonderful, much beloved novel about a, uh, a, a Civil War veteran, Captain Jefferson Carl Kidd, who is a wandering newsreader in 1870 in Texas. And he turns up at small communities in bar old barns and dusty town squares and he has a sack of newspapers and he reads the news and he reads the news for anyone with a nickel in the time to hear it. And, uh, and he tells, you know, news about local news or federal news or news from far off places. And then one day he meets this mysterious little girl in the woods and they embark on a, on an odyssey as he tries to take her home to her surviving family and and in a way, it's about the healing power of storytelling. And it's also about our desperate desire to find our own way home, I think. Mm -hmm. Can we talk a little bit, you, you touched on a number of themes that I think really relate to the world today. Can you expand on that a little bit more? Well, uh, I, I think the uh, when I read the novel, I thought that the novel although set in 1870 felt powerfully contemporary you know uh you know the, america then was bitterly divided as it is now uh it's in the shadow of grief and pain and loss uh, as we are now and uh this journey through a barren parched landscape feels very contemporary to me and it's about division and displacement, but ultimately the journey is about how do we get beyond that? How do we find our way through that to a place we can call home? And that of it all is the thing that makes it feel most relevant today, because I think all of us feel somewhere like that. I mean, I'm a parent. I think all parents feel like that. How are we going to get to a better place for our children. How are we going to get our children to a place called home? That's, I think, that's, I think the secret to it. And um, speaking of children and uh, this incredible duo that you have with Tom Hanks, who's leading Helena, I mean, they are so incredible on screen. How is it working with them? Well, I think the chemistry between Tom and Helena was remarkable uh, and, 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 and came very, very quickly. Uh, I mean, she was 11 years old, uh, but she's such a wonderful actress. She has such maturity in the way she performs, such an instinctive knowledge of camera and, 
Uh, I never, funnily enough, from the from the within an hour of the first scene with her, I never had any anxiety about her ability to go toe to toe with Tom. Uh, she just was incredibly confident. Uh, she had great range. You know, she could make you laugh. She could make you cry. Uh, and and Tom was so generous with her, and they. The chemistry between them was obvious off screen as well as on. And they'd sit on that wagon for hours and hours and hours telling each other funny stories, making each other laugh. And then you'd say, right, we're ready. And they'd be there. And in that moment, they'd be Kid and Johanna. And you'd just watch and you'd go, this is this story is telling itself. That's what it felt like, you know. And, uh, and there are times in films where you just feel a great, as a filmmaker, you feel a great privilege to be that close to wonderful acting. And I definitely felt it on this one. I felt that, that Tom Hanks, he's such a wonderful actor. I mean, I've worked with him before, obviously, on Captain Phillips. To me, and I know I'm biased, but this is, I, I really believe, amongst his very finest work. I think he's absolutely superb in this film. And she, for a young 11 year old girl, is absolutely outstanding. And, and the journey they take is just beautiful and moving and exciting and inspiring. And it's, as a filmmaker, everything I could have possibly dreamt of. That's perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Greengrass. Thank you for your time. It's a fantastic movie, by the way. I enjoyed it. Okay, great. Hi, Helena. Um, I just wanted to let you know, I'm doing the universal generics. So this is going out to everyone who couldn't make it. So if you could wrap my question into your answer, that'd be fantastic. You sure. did such an amazing job, by the way. Like, amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> so, hey, I'm Chilandi with the universal generics. So let's just get started right away. Tell us about your character and what you really liked or related to most. So um, what my character is like that um, she or both of them, Tom and Helena or Captain Kid and Johanna are basically just uh, people who are kind of lost and searching for hope and love and also home. And um, at one part of the movie, um, they find each other and then they go on a journey. Oh, how fantastic. And tell me, how was it working with Tom Hanks? Well, it was totally amazing. Uh, he is a great guy. He is a confident guy. He is a on the ground standing guy who's not always talking about his super, superstar life. So I really enjoyed uh, talking and acting with him and also getting friends. That's wonderful. Were you surprised at how much fun you actually had on set with him? Well, a bit, but I, I was already thinking about it because he's just so funny. And when you hear him in interviews, he's so confident with him being an actor. And also, he's just there and he's just not thinking about what to do. He's just doing it, which I think is really great of his personality. And tell me about working with the director. Paul Greengrass is just so amazing. Yeah, he really is. I mean, um, he, he's a great, really great director. He is very kind and he always lets new ideas to get in. And he always, really always wanted me to be confident and great and not having any trouble to do anything. So it was basically real, basically really the deal. I'm good. He's good. <laughs> That's wonderful. And it's kind of amazing that, that this, this movie has been so well received already by the critics. That must make you so excited. Well, yeah, it really is. I mean, I know it is not um, normal for a 12 year old German girl uh, coming from Germany to shoot in America with Tom Hanks and Paul Greengrass. So I think that's great. <laughs> and can we talk a little bit about um, just the film being so optimistic, even though it's all about, you know, the consequences of war. I feel as if the view if you will, of the news of the world is that it's actually good. It's actually very optimistic. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it, it is about a story of two uh, lost people who are finding each other. And I think now at the one point where Tom says waiting for better days to come, it's just very important in that COVID-19 time. Mm -hmm. Do you have any fun stories you want to share from set? 
whether it be with Tom yeah. Hanks or Paul? Well, um, really funny was Halloween because we were singing the song a lot. We we're coming pumpkins. We were um, selecting sweets from everybody. Everything was decorated and we had lots of fun. Oh, and also one fun story is um, that Tom always said he was meditating on set while he was actually sleeping, <laughs> which was very fun because um, he can sleep everywhere actually. And um, his son and I made fun of it and pictures while seeing him sleeping. So you caught him sleeping on set? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Did you take pictures? Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, what else can we expect from you coming up? Uh, well, lots of things, I guess. I mean, I hope I'm going to get new movies and we're having some talking with um, directors and hopefully we'll find something great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great one.